Core Limited Belief, Telling the Story, Take 569. My name is Cindy Perloff, and I'm your Certified Lifeline Practitioner, Tutor, and Coach for Dr. Darren Weissman's online certification course. What I'm doing now is I want to go over the telling the story of the Core Limiting Belief so that you can start feeling confident in your ability to put all the pieces together in a way that brings some meaning to your client, well, to yourself first, to your clients and the world around you, okay? So first, there are certain components. And by the time we get to where we're going to tell the story in a, in a Lifeline session, you will have these specific components. The but, symptoms of the body, the stressor and the relationships in life, you'll have the intention, and you'll have, this is the order that we bring up all of the parts, is first we find the chakra, then we harmonize the senses, and then we find what element it is, find the emotion or the emotions, okay, also known as the lens of misperception, which is the subconscious reactive emotionally charged lens filter, and detractor field. Those are the components. And then you'll have the original occurrence. So you'll need to be telling the story two different ways. One, without the original occurrence leading up to that. And then once you find the original occurrence, you tell the story from that perspective. Okay, so trust me, if you get some order, it will help you. Okay, there's many different ways of when you put in the components of telling the story, when you're telling the story. And also there's an art in moving forward with grace and ease. So as you're practicing, get some order, but if you forget a certain part, do your best to weave it in with grace and ease. Okay, that'll be a part of your exercise in pra practicing delivering a story. Okay, and know that you'll get better and better as you practice. I'm still growing with this myself. I'm not the most eloquent storyteller in the world, but I feel confident in getting the message across and how to bring these pieces and display them in a way so someone can has, has an appreciation for how the limiting belief is playing a role in their life. It raises our awareness, therefore raising our consciousness, and uh, we can show up in life more in a way that we uh, intend to. Okay? So, this is not about... Um, doing the harmonizing and pitching the hair. I'm not going to be show, going over that in this video. But what I'm going over is the telling of the story. Okay? First you start off. I like this order because it helps me. Okay? Again, you don't have to follow that order, but I'm going to share with you what I do. And then you'll find your way. All right. So, I'm going to I'm going to share with you and paint a picture of this core limiting belief and how it's playing a role in the physical symptoms of your body, in the stressful situations that are going on in your life, and how it's waking you up to living your life with intention. That's the intro. There's a core limiting belief that's being held in your fifth chakra. Fifth chakra is all about expressing yourself. Knowing what it is that you feel, knowing what you like, and expressing it creating healthy boundaries. When that limiting belief gets triggered by the things that go on in the world around you, it's subconscious, meaning you're not always aware. It could be a color or sound, tone of voice, music, right? Um, a smell, a taste, how you're touched or how life touches you or how you touch life, right? When those, your senses get triggered on a subconscious level, this, this limiting belief gets triggered and instead of you flowing like water, you feel stuck. Or you feel stagnant. You're unable to adapt and change like water adapts and changes. You're unable to go with the flow and move in life like water does. And when that happens, you start seeing yourself. When this, when this limiting belief gets triggered, you start seeing yourself and the world around you through this emotionally reactive lens of misperception, the lens of paralyzed will. And that paralyzed will, that lens, is what you're seeing yourself in the world around you through. And it's also becoming a filter. And it's also becoming an attractor field of gravity. And attracting situations and people in your life. 
that create feelings of scared and feeling helpless. And that also, that creates a chemistry in your body, right? And that chemistry is showing up as thinning hair and stuffy sinus. And this uh, limiting belief is not the truth of who you are. It's actually waking you up, doing its best to wake you up to your truth of I am confident, feeling amazing. You can either harmonize at this point or go right into all beliefs are learned. That's the cool thing about limiting beliefs is that they're all learned. And just because you've learned something doesn't mean it's true. Or maybe just because it was true at some point doesn't mean it's still true. Okay? So we want to find out where did you learn this limiting belief about yourself and about life. When you find the original occurrence, let's say it's two years old, then you're going to tell the story from a two-year, from that, including the two-year young in there. I like to do it in the reverse order because it helps me be organized in telling the story. So I like to say, when you were two years young, you were in an emotionally reactive environment of paralyzed will, meaning the environment, the, 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 your family environment, the community, the society around you had the energy and vibration of paralyzed will. And in that environment, the people around you, your models, right, your, your parents, your family, your siblings, your teachers, the world around you, weren't able to model for you how to flow and adapt like water. They were stuck. They weren't able to do that for themselves. And you, and they also weren't able to show you how to speak your truth, right? And at two, you know how little two your youngs are, right? They weren't able to actually receive your truth, all right? And they weren't able to express themselves or know what it is that they liked, all right? And how to express their own emotions, right? Let alone hear yours. And in that environment, uh, at two years old, you didn't have the consciousness or the ability to say, hey, but I am confident, feeling amazing, and this is my nature, right? You weren't able to express yourself in a confident, amazing way, and the people around you weren't able to hold that space for your emotions and your development at that time. So your body and life are speaking to you. This two-year young part of you is speaking to you through the physical symptoms of thinning hair, and stuffy sinuses. It's speaking to you through the emotions of scared and helpless in your relationships in life. It's not the truth of who you are today. You are an adult. You've made it through life, right? And your intent of this two-year young part of you is waking you up to your intention of I'm confident, feeling amazing. So for the first time, embrace that little two-year young part. Let her feel confident. Let her feel amazing. And as you are, let me know that you are by saying out loud, infinite love and gratitude. Okay. The person says, they let you know they're connecting to that, embracing that part of them. And then you go through the harmonizing process, and uh, which is with the pinching of the hair and all that. Okay, so anyway, I hope this really helps. Um, as you're starting, I, I know I added more because I have more understanding now. But if where you are at right now is just saying, hey, you have a, I'm going to paint a picture so you can understand how the core limiting belief is playing a role in your life, in your body, in your life and relationships and how it's waking you up with intention. There's a core limiting belief in your fifth chakra preventing you from speaking your truth. When that limiting belief gets triggered, you're unable to speak your truth. You're unable to flow like water. And when that happens, you see yourself in the world around you through a lens of paralyzed will. And that paralyzed will becomes an attractor field. It becomes a chemistry in your body. And that chemistry starts speaking to you with thinning hair and stuffy sinuses. Relationships start showing up with feelings of scared and helpless. And it's waking you up to your intention of I'm confident, feeling amazing. Where do we learn this? All beliefs are learned. Want to find out where did you learn this? Find it out. You were two years old in an environment of paralyzed will.
in an environment of paralyzed will, no one was able to move like water. No one was able to flow. They felt stuck. Paralyzed will, right? That was the energy of, this, of the environment. They weren't able to model for you how to speak your truth. They didn't know how to do it themselves, right? And in that environment, at two years old, you didn't have the ability to say, hey guys, I'm confident feeling amazing. This is my nature. And so that two-year young part of you has been speaking to you through the health of your body with these physical symptoms. It's been speaking to you through emotions of feeling scared and helpless. And that's not the truth of who you are today, right? But this is a two-year young part of you. So for the first time, and I am confident, feeling amazing way, embrace that little two-year young part of you, right? And let her feel confident. Let her feel amazing. And as you are, let me know you are by saying infinite love and gratitude. So, like I'm saying, you could add a lot more juice or you can keep it really simple, but the key is to be able to practice it in a way where you can feel confident. So, having some order and um, practicing it over and over again, using your voice to express it will help you with that confidence and it'll help you to grow. So, I hope this helps. Infinite love and gratitude as you move on your on forward with your journey to the celebration of the learning. And I know you'll do great. The most important thing is to like really breathe, be present with what you're saying. All right. So infinite love and gratitude. Bye.